at this point we're going to look at the basics of the trial balance and how to understand the trial balance especially if uh, you have not done it before you are looking at how to begin understanding the trial balance now the simple thing about the trial balance is just understanding uh, the accounting equation if you understand the accounting equation and what your debits are and what your credits are then you should be able to automatically understand the trial balance and uh, you'll see why just now in the accounting equation we look at assets equity and liabilities and what affect those three we also have income and expenses obviously income and expenses uh, go into our equity section income is credited and expenses are, are, are debited in the equity section of the accounting equation so if you understand that uh, then that is the same application that we, uh, we 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 use for the trial balance now here's what I'll do I'll put my assets there now if you have assets or your assets have increased uh, then you put your assets on the debit side and then uh, if you have equity and they have increased then you put them on the credit side as the accounting equation would say and then if you have uh, expenses you have expenses whatever expenses those are they would be debited as they would be debited in the accounting equation on the uh, equity section um, and then we have income income would be credited also on the equity section of the accounting equation and then we have uh, liabilities liabilities and the liabilities uh, would be credited as well because uh, when liabilities increase they are credited and that is it if you can understand that and you can understand what is an asset what is an equity what is an expense what if what is income and what is a liability then you should be able to apply it accordingly and that's how you do your trial balance now for instance an asset if they say you have uh, uh, if they show a bank balance of uh, for instance 50,000 rands then you will put a uh, bank as a description and on your debit side you'll put the 50,000 rent 50,000 and then if you have uh, liabilities for instance or let's look at uh, something like uh, equipment equipment is an asset uh, if they give you if they say the balance for equipment is 70,000 rent then you put it on the debit side 70,000 rent and uh, expenses for instance salaries salaries are expenses uh, so if you have that then you'd put it on the debit side because expenses increase on the debit side as I have indicated uh, right here so if expenses is say 20,000 rand then you put it on the debit side and there's that is how you do the trial balance in simple terms if you're going to just take what is in the uh, in the in, in in the statement of financial position and uh, stand by statement of comprehensive income and apply it here uh, then you will know how to do that trial balance uh, that is what we call uh, post adjust uh, adjustment trial balance or post adjusting trial balance and once we do that then you know how to apply it accordingly uh, with the movement of cash between uh, this uh, uh, between between any of these and that is how you tr do the trial balance so the simple rules that you apply the exact same rules that you apply in the accounting equation on your debits and your credits then you should be able to understand the trial balance till next time cheers